about a week and a half old, hatched from an egg. Rare albino freshwater dolphin fish. He's gonna get you. Ah, the glowfish are on point here. Oh, what's up, hey, YouTubers? yeah, say what's up to the Hawaiian <laughs> fish keeping Ohana. Can you see those teeth? Are you guys ready to see the rare albino freshwater dolphin? Aloha, this is your boy Brought him out, aka the Hawaiian Fish Keeper, here with another video for you. Be a part of my Ohana, guys. That means family. All you have to do is hit that subscribe button. Next to that subscribe button, see it right there, is that notification bell. Hit that notification bell. That's just going to notify you when I put out a new video. Check it out. I'm out here, and guess what? Check it out. Got fish. Anytime you see a sign like that, you can already smell what the Hawaiian fish keeper is cooking. Let's go. Ah, we are here in Exotic Aquarium and word on the street is, is they have an albino freshwater dolphin. Not only do I want to see it, but I'm going to pick one up. Maybe even two. Depends on how I feel. But in the meantime, check these out. Shh. Oh guys, check out these little babies here. These are electric blue Jack Dempsey's little babies, like tiny. Oh, they look sick. Look how they're so small, but yet they're showing so much color. I know every time I show you guys Tiger shoving those catfish, but you know, just so you know, this is uh, one of the Hawaiian fish keepers' favorite species of predator fish. I love this fish. You will go home with me someday. I just want to reach out and touch you. Monster, 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 peacock bass. Super aggressive. About 15 inches long. These things are monsters. Look at this beautiful vampire pleco. Mmm, God, I want to get this bad boy. He's gonna cost a Benji. He's about six inches long. Check out the electric yellow Embunas. Hey, big shout out to Paul, AKA P Diddy, AKA the Inventory King. Paul used to have a tank full of the Mason Eye and Yellow Labs. It was a great combo. Look at them. God, look how beautiful these zebra oblique ends are, especially that one right there colors coming in love this African cichlid never seen these before guys these are called golden clown knives bananas man guys I know this is a type of loach but I'm not sure exactly what it is can you guys comment down below on this loach this loach is nice they look like an eel or something Let's see if I can get a close-up on one without them moving around so much. There you go. Comment down below. What kind of loach is this? All right. So we got the Roseline Shark, which is a mid, uh, a mid tank swimmer. See how they school beautifully, and then check out the bottom of this tank. What in the world? Look at these Burmese sun catfish. Check them out how they school at the bottom. Look at that. Beautiful looking catfish too. Check this catfish out guys. The Burmese upside down catfish. Look at when they free swim, they free swim upside down. Isn't that wild? Look at them all. But when they're at the bottom, uh, they swim regular. Go figure. See? On the bottom, regular. Free swimming, upside down. Check out these three massive gulper catfish. These dudes are full grown. Boom. Oh, look at these straight stunners, guys. Albino Platinum Gold Angels. Ooh, I'm loving these. 
Look at that. A true albino. You can always tell a true albino if it has red eyes. If it doesn't have red eyes, it's not a true albino. Oh, these guys are stunners. Beautiful. Check out this red tear hybrid. Super, super aggressive. Watch how aggressive he is. Whoa. He's going to get you. Ah, check these guys out. You got a royal clownfish. Actually, a couple royal clownfishes. And a bunch of red tailed catfish in the corner hanging out, having a meeting. Wow. Oh. MJZ. Check out these ATF African tiger fish. I got to zoom in on their teeth. You guys got to see these guys. Their teeth are nasty. Can you see those teeth? That is a certified grill right there. African tiger fish. Rawr. All right, so I've been looking around here for a minute and I haven't seemed to find the uh, rare albino freshwater dolphin fish. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and look for somebody. I'm going to uh, ask them if they seen it or you know, maybe they even sold out, which would suck. Hopefully they didn't sell out and uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, get one, fingers crossed. Check out this wolf cichlid guys I haven't seen one before and you can actually see his teeth this dude's got some teeth right here if you look at his lip watch him open his lip just a little bit oh yeah you can see that grill oh yeah a couple needles right there on the front wolf cichlid look at all the beautiful Congo tetras beautiful rainbow fish in this huge planted tank love this one check out this baby shark guys it is about a week old you said week it's a about a week and a half old hatched from an egg here in this tank no oh not in this tank i thought it was in this tank but you guys um it was hatched here though right oh that's so sick what type of shark is that it's a banded cat shark a banded oh nice look how gorgeous that is guys wow that's so cool week and a half old this dude is already sold too. A week and a half old, already sold. All right, so I managed to get my guy here. I gotta ask you, hey, um, do you guys have any freshwater dolphin fish here? Yeah, we do, we have them over here. Oh, they got them, yes, let's go. Yeah, I gotta get them right now. Let's go, they got them. All right, guys, I think I'm gonna get one more fish for the outdoor water feature. Um, it's right over here. So I got something pretty cool for the outdoor water feature. I just had to get it. Um, I was coming in here looking for the freshwater dolphin, but I saw something that caught my eye that we're gonna put in the outdoor water feature as well. Stay tuned, we're getting some air, we're getting some air. We got some fish, we're gonna be home, we're gonna float the fish. I can't wait guys, I'm super excited. Um, exotic Aquarium here in Sacramento, California strikes again. Ah. All right, guys, I'll see you at home. Boom, okay, before we get home, a quick stop here at my boy's Aquarium Depot. Uh, I just, I have a feeling, I wanna go in here, I wanna check out some more goodies for the outdoor water feature. Um, I don't know, I was on my way home, I figured you know, I'll stop by, see the boys, and get me some goodies. So, let's go inside, get a couple things. I have something in mind. Let's go. All right, let's go check this out, guys. All right, I got to watch. Uh, they got some good music in here, but we got to watch those copyright strikes. So let's uh, take our time. Oh, my gosh. The glowfish are on point here. All right. This is what I'm looking for, guys. So I don't know if you guys know this, but Aquarium Depot in Citrus Heights, California, uh, for me, known to have the dopest, sickest fancy guppies all right let me show you guys and this let me tell you guys what i have in mind for the outdoor water feature okay let me switch this camera around all right so check out the male guppies these are their male guppies look at the colors they are just packing heat right now guys so this is what i'm thinking i'm gonna get two nice colored up male guppies and then we're gonna get six female guppies 
they have some color on them too of course not as vibrant as the males but that's what we're going to do we're going to start a little breeding project in the front outdoor water feature all right guys all right two male six female the ratio is one male to three females and we're gonna see what happens all right all right so we got some guppies i'm not gonna show you guys what colors i got but when we get home, I'm going to show you guys the guppies, all right? So I'll see you guys in a second. Hey, guys, check this out. So I'm leaving Aquarium Depot right there, right? And I bump into my boy, David. <laughs> he just got hired here at Aquarium what's Depot. Up, what's up, hey, YouTubers? Yeah, say what's up to the Hawaiian <laughs> fish keeping Ohana. This is my boy right here. So anyways, um, he just got hired here. I'm going to come here and see this guy more often. Please. And so I will see you guys in five, four, three, two, one. Punch the screen out for me. <laughs> punch it out yeah, boom we are home guys that was so cool to see David who's a huge huge supporter and part of the Hawaiian fish keeper Ohana big shout out to you David again over at Aquarium Depot and he works at like my favorite place so anyways we're home and we also have fish floating in the inside too this is the one you guys got to see we're gonna acclimate these guys for about 30 minutes I'll see you guys real soon all right guys so here we go let's start off with these beautiful guppies that I got from my boys over at Aquarium Depot as you can see the two males that are colored up really nice one of them has like that blue spot on the top and then we have the other uh, male with kind of like a flame tail and then um, we have the female so let's go ahead and let these guys out and look how beautiful these look from the top. I mean, the females, not so much. But uh, take a look at these guys. You can see that there's one male. He's kind of cruising around. There's some females following him. Like I said, I got two males. We got six females. And uh, we are going to see if they are going to spawn in the outdoor water feature. Don't forget, we also have those metallic gold barbs that are in here too, that may be spawning for us. But there's also a lot of algae down there, a lot of hiding spots for them. Um, basically when they breathe, there's gonna be a ton of spots for the fry to hang out in. You can see two females right here. Yeah, that peach colored female, packed with color. All right, next up is this beautiful lion head that we got at Exotic Aquarium in the jungle, the mighty jungle. He's gonna patrol the outdoor water feature, make sure everybody's doing good. He's gonna protect everyone. The good old lion head goldfish. Mr. Lionhead is hanging out down there in the little cave. We'll call it his lion's den. All right, are you guys ready to see the rare albino freshwater dolphin? I need to show you guys this first though. Check this out. You see this beautiful African cichlid right here? He is called a blue dolphin morii. Yes, they get that name, the blue dolphin, because they kind of look like a dolphin. You look at the shape of their head, they kind of have a protruding forehead as they get bigger. This guy is almost, uh, almost two years old. You can see their mouth, their lips. They tend to look like a dolphin snout. Anyways, this is considered the blue dolphin or the blue dolphin morii, all right? Um, and what we got was an albino one of him. I don't know if you guys remember this, but when I was at Exotic Aquarium at one of my last videos, uh, I came across a whole tank of albino morii dolphins and I had to have one. So we went back and we got ourselves one. Check him out. All right, here he is getting used to his tank. Uh, he's looking really good, really healthy. Um, we're definitely going to keep him in here for quarantine purposes too as well, but also to grow him out a little bit so he is large enough to fit or large enough to go into the Haps and Peacock tank. But here he is, guys. I hope you guys like him. Comment down below. Tell me what you think about the albino morii, a.k.a. the blue dolphin morii. It's really hard to tell. He is a little guy, so it's hard to tell. He doesn't have that forehead protruding out yet. Uh, that doesn't start until they get a little bit older, 
but uh, you can see I have a bag of media here over there in the corner as well as a bag of crushed coral which helps with the pH of the water because we know African cichlids need a pH of a little bit higher than the norm so that's what we're doing we have that in there just to buffer the water for him to be nice and comfortable and we're going to turn the lights off now let him get you know comfortable in his new little home all right brother take care aloha so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i am super excited to get some breeding activity done down here in the basin and the outdoor water feature also super excited on that new albino morii that i picked up can't wait to grow that dude out and then add him to the have some peacock tank thank you guys so much i want to give another huge shout out to exotic aquarium and aquarium depot big shout out to you guys thank you guys so much for uh, i guess fulfilling our um addiction i guess you can say other than that i hope you guys have a great weekend once again i appreciate you guys happy fish happy life much love and aloha